Assalamu alaikum guys, dear brothers and sisters. Today I will be talking about Muharram. I encourage you to fast during this month. More so on the 10th of Muharram, try not to miss that it's actually a very powerful fast. It would expire the sins, the minor sins of the previous year. Remember to add to it the ninth at least and then um, we have the Sunnah of fasting every Monday and Thursday. And then we have the Sunnah of fasting on the 13th, 14th and 15th of the lunar calendar. And all that would bring a lot of goodness and a lot of reward. I want to end by saying, my brothers and sisters, let's make resolutions on a daily basis and let's look into the resolutions, how we've made and see how best we're practicing upon them. Let's see how best we're actually fulfilling them. Remember, if you have bad habits, this is the time to quit those bad habits. Looking at the coronavirus, many people said those who have not given up their habits of smoking and be it anything else, those who had bad habits, astaghfirullah, with that may Allah have been haram, totally haram. May Allah grant us the ability to take our health seriously and not for granted and we need to make resolutions. The beauty of these resolutions in Islam. The ones connected to your health. You would get a reward for it. And at the same time, you add good health. So if you're making a resolution, I am going to take care of my body this time. Wallahi, that body was given to you by Allah. And it's going to be taken away. So if you're looking after something Allah has entrusted you with for a while, you would be earning a reward for it. So let's go for it. May Allah bless every one of us that so we take that seriously. Those of us who have bad habits, we should be quitting them. Those of us who are weak in fulfilling our duties, be strong. This could be your last year. You may not see the end of the year. Subhanallah. So let's be strong. In our obligations, what are the obligations? Well, primarily to worship Allah alone, to follow in the footsteps of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. we have the five-day prayers. We need to be very strong with, we have modesty in our dress. We need to keep improving. Allah has blessed you to be able to cover modesty. Those who have not been paying their zakat correctly, may Allah strengthen everyone. Those who haven't been for hajj yet and they can afford the trip, they are supposed to go to, they're supposed to be going. Make your intentions. May Allah gather us in his obedience in this world. May he gather us in the companionship of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So my brothers and sisters, I hope you in, um, understand this speech and um, we pray for you so can you pray for us and um, give us at least uh, 30 likes and make sure to subscribe, like and share. If you already subscribed, make sure to like as I said and Allah Hafiz.